Hello, hello, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. How are you doing today? Hello, Guadalupe. Hello, Gabriela. Hello, Jefferson. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Albalus. Good evening. Hello, hello. Christina, hello, everybody. Hello, Elena. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Andrea. Hello, Hi. Selma. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. I hope that everybody is ready for your English class. Are you ready for your English class? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay, very good. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to introduce ourselves. Uh, you're going to ask your classmates the question. Uh, the first question is going to be, what's your name? Como te llamas? What's your name? Uh, how old are you? Uh, the next one is, where do you live? Uh, where do you work? Where do you work? Uh, another question is, do you have pets? What's your pet's name? What is another question? Uh, you can ask, what's your favorite color? And you can say, what's your favorite Food. Everybody, please listen and repeat. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's, right. your, name? What's, What's your, your name? name? Who can What's respond? Him? Who can respond to me the question? What's your name? Um, my name is Andrea. Very good. My name is Andrea. Excellent, excellent. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, Santos Guadalupe? My name is Guadalupe. All right, excellent, excellent. Uh, yes, Tamara? Hey, hi, my name is Tamar. Okay, very good, very good. So in this activity, uh, yes, Alba? Alba. Hello, my name is Alba Cruz. Excellent, excellent. So today we are going to answer the questions. Everybody listen and repeat. What's your name? What's your name? What's, What's your, your name? name? What's your name? How old are you? How, how old, old are, are, you? Old are, you? are you? How old are you? How old are you? Where do you live? Where, where, do, where, you live? You live? where do you work? Where, where do, do, you do, you work? do you work? Do you have pets? Do you, do you have, have pets? pets? What's your pet's name? What's, What's, your best name? Name? What's your favorite color? What's, What's your favorite, favorite color? color? What's your favorite food? What's your favorite food? All right, one volunteer, one volunteer, one volunteer, please. Let me have 
one volunteer. Raise Elena. your hand. Elena. Yes. All right, Elena, ask me the questions and I will respond to the questions. Ask me the okay. questions and I will respond to the questions. Okay, um, what's your name? Uh, my name is Ruben. Okay, um, how old are you? I am 40 years old. 40? 40. All right. Um, where do you live? Uh, I live in Miral Valle neighborhood. Okay. Um, where do you work? I work in Inglés Corporativo. All right. Um, do you have pets? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, what's your pet's name? Uh, her name is Princess. It's a dog. Beautiful. Okay. Yes. Oh, all right. Um, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Okay. And what's your favorite food? Well, I think I have uh, two favorite foods. Uh, I love... Mexican food, uh, tacos, burritos, tortas, uh, tortilla soup. Uh, I love Mexican food and I also love Chinese food. Uh, I love the tacos chinos, the wontons, the chow mings, mm -hmm. the meat and vegetables. That's All right. Nice. Now, I will ask Elena the question and Elena respond to the question. What's okay. your name? My name is Elena. How old are you? I am 25 years old. Where do you live? I live, I live in Santo Tomas, San Salvador. Where do you work? Uh, at this moment, I don't work. Do you have pets? Yes, I do. What's your pet's name? Um, his name is Peter. What's <laughs> your favorite color? My favorite color is blue and black. What's your favorite food? My favorite food is Salvadorian food. Excellent. 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 Okay, perfect. Um, now let me have Santos Guadalupe and Gabriela Noemi. Uh, Santos Guadalupe ask the questions. And Gabriela Noemi respond to the questions. Será que puede, adiós, puede. Porque estoy en unas cuentas. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Let me have Jose Antonio and Gabriela. Uh, Jose Antonio ask the questions. Gabriela, respond to the questions. Okay. Uh, what is your name? My name is Gabriela Tejada. How old are you? Excuse me? Yes, Gabriela. How old are you? Mm. 
I am 24 years old. Okay. Uh, where do you live? I live in Chalantrango. Okay, excellent. And what is your favorite color? Bao, mm, where do you work? Ba? <laughs> Oh, eh, where do you work? Voy a compartir okay. las preguntas en el chat del WhatsApp. Ya las compartí en el chat del Zoom. Okay. okay. Uh, I work I work in Tigo Money. Okay. Um do you have pets? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite color? My favorite favorite color is white. White. Okay, perfect. Uh, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is um, uh, Mex Mexican food. Este tacos, bur burritos. Really? Um, <laughs> hey, nice, nice. Okay. I like to. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, yes. vice versa. Vice versa. And now, Gabriela, ask the questions and Jose Antonio respond to the questions. Okay. What's your name? My name is Jose. How are how old are you? I am 27 years old. Okay. Where do you live? Uh, now I live in Apopo. <laughs> Where do you work? Um I don't work. Do you have pets? Yes. I have three pets. What's your pet's name? Um, the first one is um, Ranya. Second one is um, also. And the third one is is um, <laughs> uh, Rocky. Sorry, Rocky. Okay. <laughs> What do your favorite color? What do have... what do your favorite color or what is your favorite color? Uh, what is? Uh -huh, what is? What is? Okay. Um, I have two favorite colors. The first one is red, and the second one is black. Okay. What is your favorite food? I love the pupusas and Mexican food. Perfect. Excellent, excellent. Okay, uh, please select somebody, Jose, and please select somebody, Guadalupe. Seleccione un compañero, Jose, y seleccione un compañero, Guadalupe. Okay, Daniela Olivares, ask the questions. Sorry, no, no, me escuchaban. Okay. Daniela Olivares, ask the question. I'm here. Okay. Liz okay. quería hacer una pregunta, perdón. Yes. Permiso. Yes. Este, no sé si hay, hay otro grupo sobre este, la temática porque no, no vi que cayera algún mensaje o algún, algún grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, ¿Están en el grupo del WhatsApp, guys? ¿Les cayó el mensaje que acabo de mandar? Yes, yes. 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 Ok, ok. Ah, pues me imagino que usted yes. no está en el grupo del WhatsApp eh, para ingresarse al grupo de WhatsApp. Tiene que ir al correo electrónico eh, donde le mandaron sus usuarios 
y allí le tienen que mandar el enlace eh, para que se incorpore. Si alguien tiene el contacto de Santos Guadalupe, por favor, le puede compartir el enlace. Ok, eh, José, ¿a quién eligió? Alba Luz. Alba Luz, ask the questions. Eh, ¿Y quién estaba trabajando con José? ¿Quién estaba trabajando Gabriela. con José? Gabriela Mira, Noemí. Ah, ok, Gabriela Noemí. Eh, ¿A cuál eh, compañero seleccionó? Eh, ahorita le selecciono. Mm, Daniela Olivares. Ok, Daniela Olivares, respond to the questions. Eh, so we're going to have Alba Luz ask the questions. And Daniela Olivares, respond to the questions. Action. Okay. Okay. Hello. What's your name? Hi, my name is Daniela Olivares. How old are you? I'm 21 years old. Where do you live? I live in Santana. Where do you work? I don't work. Do you have a pest? I do. What's your what's your pest name? His name is Benji. It's a dog. Mm. What's your favorite color? My favorite colors are rose gold and black. What's your favorite food? My favorite food are hamburgers. All right, excellent, excellent. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move forward, guys. I know that everybody wants to participate, but I need to make sure that you guys uh, finish the activities. Um, Todos saben cómo compartir sus pantallas. Me not, teacher. Okay, Miguel. No. Lo unic eh, no, teacher. En, okay, en el centro de su Zoom de la pantalla Zoom, usted va a encontrar un icono verde con una flechita para arriba que dice Share Screen. Si lo tiene en inglés, le va a decir Share Screen. Y si lo tiene en español, va a decir Compartir Pantalla. Usted le da clic a ese botoncito y va a poder compartir su pantalla del, con la que está trabajando. Teacher, ¿quiere que todos compartamos pantalla? Eh, no, no. Quiero saber que todos saben compartir pantalla. Porque no. cuando están trabajando en parejas, usted puede compartir su pantalla, así como lo voy a hacer yo en este momento. Y usted puede... Eh, desplegar aquí por ejemplo el módulo eh, la sección el tema right eh, digamos que el compañero le dice miren amigos yo estoy trabajando del teléfono yo no tengo los ejercicios y otro compañero dice ah ok yo sí estoy trabajando de mi laptop o de mi tablet o de lo que esté trabajando el celular y está dentro de la plataforma, usted le da compartir la pantalla y ya puede compartir con su compañero eh, las actividades. Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos, eh, estamos en principiante módulo 3. Y este, aquí, en esta página, quiero que vean varias cosas. Usted ve aquí donde dice Student Manual Participant 3. Ese es el manual en PDF. Eh, instructor, 
sería yo, Rubén Santos. Eh, videoconferencias. Ahí va a ver usted las clases grabadas, por si quiere repasar. Eh, información del curso, discusión y progreso. Eh, el progreso es donde usted va a ir para verificar que sus actividades van avanzando. Si usted ve aquí, eh, aquí dice homework one, homework two, homework three, homework four y homework five. ¿Qué son estas homeworks? Estas homeworks básicamente representan todas las secciones eh, del módulo. Por ejemplo, nos vamos acá. Y usted ve donde dice section one, section two, section three, section four, section five. Esas son las mismas homeworks. So, cuando usted viene acá, se mete a la plataforma. Aquí vamos a entrar a section one. Y usted le da clic al icono. Y usted ve que dice lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn the months and dates. Additionally, you will learn two about birthdays. Y acá abajo está en español, porque como todavía estamos en nivel principante, todavía les podemos hablar en español. Eh, al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán los meses y las fechas Adicionalmente, aprenderán sobre sus cumpleaños. So, aquí y aquí dicen lo mismo. Aquí está en inglés. Y aquí está en español. Dicen exactamente lo mismo. Después, le da clic al que sigue. So, aquí están los objetivos. Le damos al que sigue. Y vemos un video. Usted ve el video. Y después hace las actividades aquí abajo en la discussion forum. Hagamos la primera juntos. Listen to the video, please. Listen to the video, please. Hi, everyone. ¿Todos escuchan el video? Yes, teacher. Ok. Yes, teacher. Ok. Let's get started by listening and practicing the month and date. Practice the months and the dates. Months. January. February. March. April. Just a little April, low, teacher. June. July. August. The volume. September, October. Let me see. November. Low volume, yeah. December. Okay, give me a second. Dates. Uh, give me one second. Let me check my audio settings real quick. Audio settings over here. All right, so right there it should be full capacity. All right. Okay. Let's try one more time. First. Can you hear? Second. Better. Third. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Sorry Fourth. about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Eighth. Ninth. Tenth. Eleventh. Twelfth. Thirteenth. Fourteenth. 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 
31st. Now let's learn how to talk about your birthday. The question is, when is your birthday? My birthday is on April 5th. To express birthdays or to express any particular date, we can follow this next formula. That's special day plus the verb to be plus the preposition on plus month plus the date. Let's put that formula into practice. My birthday is on April 5th. The special day is my birthday. Then we include the verb to be is. After that, we need to add the preposition on. Next, we add the month April. Uh, finally, we include the date 5th. Ok, quiero que pongan ojo que en inglés siempre va primero el mes y después va la fecha. Incluso si lo está haciendo en números, digamos que lo quiere hacer en números, eh, zero four sería abril, eh, zero five sería el cinco, and then twenty twenty three, el año. Right, so en inglés siempre va el mes primero, después el día y después el año. So, uh, right now, what I would like for us to do is practice the pronunciation in this section over here. Let's practice the pronunciation. Uh, first, we're going to look at the months. Primero vamos a ver los meses. Listen and repeat January 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 Hay personas que lo pronuncian January Hay personas que lo pronuncian January Las dos pronunciaciones están bien uh, The next one February February, February. 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 Hay personas que lo pronuncian February y hay personas que lo pronuncian February. So, ahí las dos están bien. February o February es lo mismo. Uh, listen and repeat. March. 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 April. 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 May. 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 June. 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 July. 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 August. 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 September. 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 October. 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 November. 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 And December. December. All right. Let me have one volunteer. Let me have one volunteer. Miguel. Ok, Miguel, quiero que las lea de la primera a la última. Ok, Hello. teacher. January. Mm -hmm. February. March. April. May. June. July. August. September. 
October, November, December. Perfect. Perfect. Good job. Miguel, let Thank me you. have another volunteer that would like to read the months. Otro voluntario que quisiera leer los meses. Okay. Tamar Alexandra. Tamar Alexandra. Okay. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, Oh, oh, September, mm -hmm. October, November, and December. Perfect. Okay. Uh, right now, we're going to go ahead and... Okay, Carlos, después sigue usted. Uh, right now, ya son las ocho y media, so tengo que tomar asistencia. So, por favor, um, cuando escucha su nombre, please say present. Si ve que su compañero escribe en el chat, eh, me avisa porque yo estoy viendo la spreadsheet donde está la asistencia. Eh, vamos a parar esto. Ok, Alba Luz. Present teacher. Thank you. Alison. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea. Present teacher. Very good. Carlos David. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Constante. Present teacher. All right. Claudia Escalante. Claudia Escalante. Escribió en el WhatsApp, Claudia Escalante. No? No, teacher. Ah, ok. Está absent. Thank you. Eh, the next one, Dalila Gómez. Present teacher. All right. Daniela. Present. Very good. Diana. Present. All right. Tell me. Present. Excellent. Elena. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Gabriela Ramirez. Gabriela Ramirez. Está ausente, Gabriela. Ausente? Ausente, Gabriela? Oh, okay. Gabriela is absent. Uh, the next one, Gabriela Orellana. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Hazer Pastran. Hazer Pastran. Absent. Hazer Pastran is absent. Okay. Absent. Hazer Pastran absent. Uh, the next one, Jefferson. Perez. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay. Vamos a poner a Guadalupe en silencio porque se escucha el background noise. Uh, the next one is Joanna. Joanna. Joanna is absent. Okay, Joanna is absent. 
the next one, Jose Montes. Present. All right, Jose Montes is present. Uh, Jose Rodriguez. Jose Rodriguez. Absent. Okay. Jocelyn Gallegos. Jocelyn Gallegos is absent. Okay. Uh, Kevin Flores. Present teacher. Good job, Kevin. Chrisia. Chrisia. Is absent. Laura. Laura. Is absent. Wow, it's a lot of people are absent. Miguel. Present teacher, good evening. Oh, thank you, good evening, good evening. Ovidio. Present teacher. Very good. Pamela. Present teacher. Awesome. Patricia. Patricia. Absent. Sabrina. Present teacher. Very good. Santos Guadalupe. Present teacher. Awesome. Tamar. I'm here, teacher. Okay. And the last one, Thelma. Present teacher. Good job, good job. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people, eight, nine, nine people absent. That's a lot of people. Okay. Let's continue. Let me have Carlos David. Yes, Carlos uh, David, please read for me the months. Carlos David, please read for the class the months. Okay, teacher. Uh, good, evening, good, evening, good evening, everybody. Uh, uh, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent work. Uh, yes, Gabriela. Okay, yeah. teacher. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Excellent. Okay. Excellent pronunciation. All right, guys. Now I would like for us to take a look at the month, the dates. Vamos a ver cómo se pronuncian las fechas. Eh, normalmente, uno, ¿cómo se dice uno? First. 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 One. Oh, one. No. Oh, one. No, one. One, yeah. Uh -huh. Sorry. Yeah. Eh, si yo quiero decir primero, por ejemplo, el primero de mayo... Right? Digamos, May. May 1st. 1st. Ahí ya no digo May 1. 
Digo May 1st. Ok. ¿Cómo digo dos? Two. 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 Vaya, si yo quiero decir para fecha, vamos a usar estos números. ¿Cómo voy a decir mayo segundo? May second. May second. Very good. No voy a decir May two. May two is incorrect. Decimos May second. ¿Cómo decimos tres? Three. 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 Y para decir el 3 de mayo, ¿cómo digo? May 3. May 3. May 3. May 3. Ok. So, ojo con eso. Si usted va a dar una fecha o usted dice, por ejemplo, están en una competencia y usted quiere decir, por ejemplo, el primero, el segundo, el tercero, usted va a decir first. Second, third, ok. Vamos a practicar la pronunciación de los números. Listen and repeat. First, 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 second, 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 second. Third. third, ok. En el third, quiero que vean, se ve como que si está mordiendo la lengua. Mm. Y de allí, sí. third, 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 el cuarto decimos fourth, fourth, fourth. fourth. al final fourth. es como que si estoy mordiendo la lengua y soplando para afuera, fourth, fourth. Por favor. El quinto, fifth. Fifth. Thirteenth, fourteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, sixteenth. Eh, quiero que noten que todos los que llevan ting, el ting es como ting. cantadito, ting. Fourteen, fifteen. El tenth es como cantadito. Another one. Seventeenth. Eighteenth. Nineteenth. Nineteenth. Y de allí el veinte sería twentieth. 20. 20. 20th. 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 Y de allí se vuelve a repetir el, el ciclo. 21st. 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 22nd. 22nd. 23rd. 23rd. 24th. 25th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 
Y de allí vuelve a repetir 31st, 32nd, 34th. Ok. En este momento lo que van a hacer es se van a grabar eh, diciendo los números. Eh, voy a compartir una, un link de una plataforma que van a usar. Bocaroo.com Bocaroo.com Ok. So, usted va a ir a esta plataforma. Ya les mando el link. Se llama Vocaroo.com Usted le va a dar clic al link. Y cuando le va a dar clic al link, usted va a venir a esta pantalla. Donde dice Vocaroo.com ¿Todos la tienen? Ahí se las mandé al WhatsApp. Yes, teacher. Ok. Usted le va a dar clic aquí en este botoncito rojo. Le va a dar clic. Así. Eh, y le va a pedir bocaru.com wants to use your microphone. Le va a dar allow. Y de allí se va a poder grabar. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Se va a grabar diciendo todas las fechas. Ese va a ser un audio. Y de ahí se va a grabar diciendo todos los meses. Cuando termine. Se puede volver a escuchar si usted quiere. Y de allí se va a poder grabar. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Se va a grabar diciendo todas. Ok. Red link. Ok, we got to do it again. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Después, tiene que darle aquí abajo donde dice save and share. Guarda y comparte. Le va a dar clic allí. Y le va a desplegar este link. Usted va a pegar el, copiar el link. Copiar, así. De ahí se va a ir a la plataforma. Abajo de la plataforma donde dice, añade una publicación. Allí. Y título le va a poner, months. Meses and numbers. Número y pronunciation. Pronunciación. Y allí va a pegar el link que el vocal rule le va a dar y de allí enviar. Y después nos va a aparecer acá su link. Y de allí podemos ver, escucharlos. Me voy a dar, le doy clic acá y ya puede escuchar el audio. Ok. Oh, fuck. Borré el link. Ok, we gotta do it again. First, second, third, fourth. Y ya queda la grabación para poder escuchar. Any questions? ¿Preguntas? No. ¿Preguntas lo que van a hacer en esta actividad? No, teacher. Ok. Vamos, eso les va a quedar de tarea. Eso va a ser su tarea. Eh, ah, otra cosa que quería reiterar es que ustedes pueden ir avanzando a su ritmo. Ok. Ahí yo sé que hay personas que trabajan de 8 a 8, otros que trabajan de 8 a 5, otros que no trabajan, otros que estudian y trabajan. So, eh, 
no tiene que esperar para que el teacher le diga, okay, guys, we're going to do section two, section one, o el exam. No, usted puede ir avanzando a su ritmo y hacer sus preguntas en la clase. Yes, Alba. Eh, teacher, una consulta. Todos los videos que dicen este, compartir en el foro de discusión los tenemos que hacer entonces. Correct, correct. Eh, a todos al fin del video, si usted, usted mira acá, al fin del video, bueno, usted puede ver aquí a la par del video que va escribiendo todo lo que él va diciendo en español. Lo que él va diciendo se va transcribiendo aquí a la par. So, usted puede ver donde dice, por ejemplo, en esta, él dice, después de terminar esta tarea, comparta su trabajo en nuestro forro de discusión, que es este forro. Eh, en este caso, dice, ahora es tu turno para practicar. So, cada video va a llevar sus instrucciones al final. Para que usted pueda hacerlas acá. All right, so esa va a ser su tarea. Right now, we're going to continue with the next video. Uh, on this one, we will, by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer yes and no questions using be going to. Additionally, you will practice a conversation about birthday plans. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Eh, en español, al final de esta clase aprenderán cómo formular y responder preguntas con respuesta corta, sí y no, usando be going to. Adicionalmente, practicarán una conversación sobre planes de cumpleaños. Esta conversación ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario de la vida real. So, la siguiente actividad va a ser una conversación y la vamos a practicar. Hi everyone. In this class you learn how to ask and answer yes or no questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about birthday plans, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled Happy Birthday. Let's listen and practice. Happy birthday. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Now let's analyze the examples from the chart. The future with be going to. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Yes, she is. She's going to invite all my friends. No, she isn't. She's going to take me out for dinner. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They're going to sing happy birthday. No, they aren't. But they're going to give me a cake. We use be going to to talk about future events. Let's learn to form statements using be going to to talk about future events. We can follow this formula to express the future with be going to. Subject plus verb to be plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples from the chart. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. These examples are contracted, by the way. In order to illustrate these examples, I will do it without contractions. I is the subject. Next, we have the verb to be. M. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb celebrate. Finally, we add 
my birthday. Let's analyze one more example. She's going to invite all my friends. The subject is she. Next we have the verb to be is. After that we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb invite. Finally we add a compliment. All my friends. Let me show you how to form yes or no questions with be going to. To do that we're going to follow this formula. The verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus the verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Are you going to do anything this weekend? The verb to be is are. Next we have the subject you. After that we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb do. Finally we add a complement. Anything this weekend. And we put a question mark at the end. These are yes or no questions. So to answer them, it's quite simple. Just like you see on the examples towards the right hand side of the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Our next example. I'll choose the last question on the chart. Are the waiters going to sing to you? The verb to be is are. The subject is the waiters. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb sing. Finally, we add a compliment to you and a question mark at the end. Now it's your turn to practice making statements and yes or no questions using be going to. Think about your plans for the weekend and write them down. Do as many examples as you can. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Chart. She is. She's going. Well, my friend. All right, I would like for us to practice the pronunciation uh, for this vocabulary. Repeat, are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Well, well, I'm, I'm going, going to celebrate, going to celebrate, celebrate my birthday. birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? Fabulous. Fabulous. When is your birthday? Exactly. Exactly. It's August 9th, Sunday. It's, it's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? So, so well, well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Well, well, well my, my friend, friend is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Nice. nice. Is she going to order a cake? Order a cake? Uh, yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing. Yeah. 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 And the waiters are probably going to sing. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. to me. Happy birthday. It's so embarrassing. It's, it's so embarrassing. embarrassing. Okay, guys, so you have to practice this. 
and that's going to be your homework. And we are done for tonight. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.